Hello family. Well, I got a short message for you. An encouraging message. I think they're coming this um, so often because we're getting so close. And um, please excuse the noise in the background. I just got the confirmation to go ahead and uh, I need to I need to get this done <laughs> um, so I can try to turn in early and uh, I haven't had my dinner yet or anything so um, just bear with me people are putting fireworks off I'm just so tired my brain isn't functioning very good guys but I do have to say um, thank you to Mail Buster. I appreciate your prayers. And my, the, my other sister that left a comment. I am trying to remember your name and I'm having a malfunction. Cherie. <laughs> thank you, Cherie. Um, and I want to say also that I prayed for you, Sheree, and I'll continue to pray for you. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, you know, these these entities and demonic spirits, they influence, you know, the people that we love so they can um, cause us to stumble, you know, and... Uh, we, we get attacked in many different ways. The way I'm attacked isn't necessarily the way you're attacked. And, um, but it doesn't mean it's any less of an attack. We are all targets. All of us who are watching for our Lord. And I wanted to clarify that I'm, I messed up when I was speaking about my daughter. Yes, she does have things in her home that could, that, well, would absolutely probably attract demonic attention um, or spirits with it. But she's not a witch. She's not a practicing anything. She doesn't uh, do yoga even. She just likes the stuff for decoration. She thinks it's pretty and cute. It's actually just full-blown ignorance and I don't get a lot of time to sit and have heart-to-hearts with her and the few times I've gotten to speak about it you know it goes in one ear and out the other and I understand because I used to be her I didn't fully comprehend you know the spiritual side of, of all of this either and you know ignorance is very dangerous and I can't force her to throw this the stuff away and that's what I meant when I was saying I can't do anything about you know what, what goes on in someone else's home and um you know, she's not a bad kid. She's just a stupid kid. So, I just wanted to give more context on that before I start. And I'm just so grateful, you know, for the prayers and help. Last night, or yesterday day, I did anoint my home. I anointed my doors and my windows. And, um, I did pray and combat everything before I went to sleep last night and I was up late I was doing some research on some videos that Bill Buster suggested and um, I uh, was up late but when when I did go to sleep last night I finally did sleep without being um, attacked in my dreams and um, I did wake up once last night but it wasn't from that um, 
so it was like the first time in a while so the prayers helped definitely and I'm grateful for it and then for the advice so I just want to get that out there um, guys what you're looking at on the screen was my confirmation to go ahead with the message I uh, originally I went in this was after the message and I looked you know got it sorted out what the message was I went um, actually into my emails I was looking to see if there was any coupons sent from like Uber or DoorDash um, in case you know I might order something to eat and uh, the funny thing is is while I was in there this popped up and I'd already was like you know Lord you know I'm gonna have to have a confirmation on this I can't you know go forth with it and then this popped up with the clock emoji time is almost up and then after I seen that I was like I prayed again I said Lord if that's from you it's gonna have to show up in my notifications and a couple of hours just went by and I thought well maybe he's gonna wait um, but he didn't um, it did come through just a little bit later and it was at 9 12 when it popped in um, like the number 707 was when the email was sent but 9 12 was when it actually came into my notifications and it came in alone there was not one other notification with it so I knew that was my confirmation and it really speaks for itself um, I did go and look up 707 and in the Greek it uh, was a reference to Joseph of Arimathea so I was like well I'm not sure what that would mean but the Hebrew the definition was to weave and I thought yeah weave this message together right um, but mostly I think the time is almost up is the message is the confirmation in itself without a definition um, there was something else I wanted to mention I was watching enter the stars and Casey was talking about Bioshock and how it, it's a get it's a video game and if you see here when I went and looked for it this was a uh, thumbnail part of it I guess and if you look there on her chest you see a four a six and an eight and yeah for 18 and three sixes make 18 right so the six 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 is there and the Bioshock is kind of like what we're going through right now right and you see the noose around the neck so I thought that was interesting and um, here's the thing I ran into a 222 while I was looking into it and it, this is the interesting part about it it's in the game it, it it's called rapture into the water rapture into the water and I know many of you are still what we call ballers um, that you believe in the spinning ball so um, this message is for those of us who believe in the biblical firmament okay that the earth is stationary and a fixed 
unmoving, okay, that the sun and the moon actually go around the earth and it's under the firmament and the firmament is like a dome. So anyway, in scripture, uh, in God's word, he said he there was water above the firmament and then water below the firmament and the firmament divided the waters, okay? So that's why our sky is blue because there's water above the firmament. And when, you know, you get those headlines about it raining fish, that's why. Um, and here's the thing, you know, the enemy's people, they have the as above, so below um, doctrine, right? So water above, water below. As above, so below. So when this game was saying rapture into the water it wasn't saying rapture below it's literally mocking people who believe in the ball so it's rapturing up into the water which will be through the water into heaven see what i believe is when god says the earth is his footstool i believe it's a literal meaning okay he can literally look down through the water at the earth um, now, I don't know, like, if the earth is actually underneath heaven, like, if we're a part of it, or if we're our own separate entity, you know, like, being in heaven, but being under a dome, you know what I'm saying, not able to get to actual heaven, it's, it's just a theory of mine. Um, but the sun, the moon, and the stars, they operate like a clock. And I believe that, that b basically when Earth was created and they started moving is when the clock started ticking for the 6,000 years, guys. It was from Adam to Abraham, 2,000 years, and Abraham to Jesus 2,000 years and the church gets 2,000 years and we are literally in a system that is ticking like a clock so look into it if you never have because scripture says the moon gives its own light it doesn't reflect the sun's light it's its own light there's so many things that scripture contradicts about what the so-called science teaches. Okay? But I found that interesting. Rapture into the water, and I thought I would share that. Um, you might want to go look in to enter the stars and, and learn what Casey was talking about with it. It's a really interesting um, video that he did. And that was like uh, the city under the water. And I wanted to, to show you a giant African snail sighting forces Florida County into quarantine. Rationing has already begun in Europe as the entire globe plunges into a horrific economic. And I think the word after that was collapse. Ration and food has already started. That's the main thing I wanted to show you. We are so, so close, guys. We're so, so close. And, um, I believe that's what the Lord's saying here with this message, message tonight. But before I give you the message, I just want to say, too, because I've recommended um, this channel, I had to unsubscribe today. Uh, this channel's endorsing a blasphemer who teaches a work salvation message. Completely false. And so that's what this channel actually believes as well. And I'm accountable for the things I say. 
so I am repenting, I am changing my mind about following this channel, and I just thought I would bring it to your attention in case uh, you need the information or decide to change your mind about it too. Again, I'm so sorry for the noise you all. It's literally in my next door neighbor's yard. <laughs> Might be the last time we ever hear this. Matter of fact, I believe it probably is. I don't think there's going to be any celebrating going on next year. Not at all. And speaking of such, my daughter... Uh, his best friend who is a believer by the way or at least confesses to be um, has my granddaughter tonight and wanted to take her to the park and um, have like a little cookout situation but uh, she was saying that the group that's getting together because my daughter is working the group that is getting together spent a thousand dollars on fireworks a thousand dollars on fireworks. This is how delusional people are, guys. I don't think my daughter's friend was the one that spent the money. I think it was the group that she was participating in, you know, to get together with. But people are just clueless. And that says it all right there. Clueless. They, don't, they are really just not going to know what's about to hit them. No matter how many messages, how many watchmen are sounding the alarm and blowing the trumpet. It's, it's gotten now, I believe, where everyone's made their choice. You know? Yeah, I'm looking for the rapture. I'm looking for the trumpet sound, right? Um, and I know there's nothing to fear that I don't need to do a bunch of, uh, crazy prepping and things like that, but if I had a thousand dollars that I could spend, that's what I would do with it. I would buy supplies for somebody that would need it after the rapture. That's, that's just what I would do. I wouldn't be out here blowing it on fireworks. Sorry for that little rant. But, I mean, it just goes to show you the mentality of people. And, they're <laughs> definitely, if they're not with the Lord, gonna <laughs> gonna need that money for food. Okay, um, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. My, my fur baby, Prince, he doesn't take no for an answer. I set him down once and he jumped right back up, so, um, <laughs> and to pause it. Anyway, moving on. Chinese researchers claim they have built and tested artificial intelligence capable of reading minds. I thought that was something that should be shared. Capable of reading minds. And hey, you all, I'm sure, have seen those robot dogs. And uh, I've been seeing videos on TikTok of more and more of those um, that they're developing. Those are what's going to be hunting people down, guys. And they're like waterproof and bulletproof and all kinds of proof. <laughs> so, there's not going to be no resisting, you know what I'm saying? Or, or taking them down, probably without explosives. <laughs> oh my goodness. And if those dogs being loaded with the AI, right, come up on somebody... And they can read it, you know, read it, read their mind. Oh my goodness. Who knows? 
I mean, if the if the demons are using the technology and the demons are the AI or the fallen angels, that you know, that's why they're developing this stuff because they can't read our minds. It's just interesting. I thought I would share it. Okay. So here's um what happened I was cleaning my house working like I do um, and I got winded and out of breath I had to sit down and cool out cool out cool down I was hot too and um, I don't know how long I wasn't sitting very long probably like maybe five minutes and uh, I was just going over what things I wanted to get done with spring cleaning and some plans I have, you know, just basically to get work done. And, um, and then I found myself in, you know, uh, humming a song in my head. And I knew it wasn't for me. I put, you know, it was downloaded because I didn't put it there, okay? And the song was Here Comes the Bride. And when I noticed myself humming it, because, you know, I was having two different trains of thought going, thinking about stuff I wanted to get done and catching my breath, and it was like that, you know, song entered in I didn't even realize I was singing it in my head um, at first you know so when I did notice it I looked on the clock and it was 6:33, and I knew I was humming it for several seconds before I looked at the clock so I went with 6:32 and 6:33. I looked up both times and this is the message to assign a portion as due um and remember this song is here comes the bride okay so that is the message here comes the bride and this is like um this isn't a negative context this is a positive like to assign a portion Meaning, we're about to get our due. It's a, it's an honorable thing. To give someone their due is in honor them. Okay? Honor them. And then when people get married, one of the um, things they say is to honor each other. Right? Now... That's the Greek, and this was all that, uh, she, uh, this was the only biblical reference, and it says, since she is a woman, and show her honor, and we are the bride, so we're referenced in the feminine as the bride of Christ, so we're about to be honored by the bridegroom okay it is a bond and an obligation this is the Hebrew it all goes together we're about to be honored and it's our bond it's a binding obligation okay so the 633 was when I looked at the clock, but both applied because it was enough time went by that it could be both numbers of the 632 and 3. And the Greek for this one is to wash off your dirt. So prepare, prepare basically is what this is saying. This is 
and interdict Inju injunction, which may is means a decree. This is a decree. We're about to get raptured. We're about to go to the wedding. The bride of Christ. This is a decree for the bride of Christ to get ready for our for our binding obligation. We're about to be honored in marriage. And remember at the beginning um, time is almost up was the confirmation. So isn't that awesome guys? Here comes the bride was you know the song and it's all about getting married. The definitions for both numbers fits into the bride and the bridegroom. And before I go, I just want to say to remember, if you watched it, I don't, if you missed it, a couple days ago I did a video and I was mentioning two of our brothers and sisters who were given that the 4th of July was uh, something bad was coming. Well, it did. I'm sure you've heard about it. Six dead, 24 hospitalized at Illinois 4th of July parade shooting. You know, they're up to probably like 30, maybe even 40 now of these shootings. I know probably at least half of them didn't even happen at all. But, um, you know, for all I know, this one might not have happened too. I haven't really looked into it yet. Maybe it did. But, it, it, it reminds me of all the, the food processing plants burning down, being over 100 now. It's like they're, you know, doing this the same kind of thing as a gun grab. It's disgusting. None of these are random whatsoever. People don't just do this. Every time these shootings have happened, it's been when they're ready to take some, some more freedom away. This is what they do. They plot and scheme plot plan scheme so the Lord did warn and you know they were validated with this so and unfortunately I, I can't show you the messages again from what they said about um, the warning because I had to go through my phone and clear out some things to make room for my memory. And um, I guess that was one of the things because I couldn't find it. But, guys, and I've seen the 4321 countdown today, too, and the 321 back to back, like right there together. And I've seen 321 again. Um, so yeah that's about it I hope you guys stayed safe and stayed in the Lord's coming it's a decree it's a bond it's an ob a bonded obligation um, we're about to be honored by our king our king here comes the bride here comes the bride guys that's the message be encouraged and again I say thank you for the prayers hopefully I'm yes. um, um, well I'm just going to say I'll be fine tonight too and just have faith that these things have been um, cast out for good. All right, you guys. Sorry, I sound so tired. It's been rough. 
If you need prayer, leave it in the comments. Good night.